everybody. How are you? I'm glad. Uh, thank you very much for coming to the Old Church Acoustic Series. Uh, how many of you, just by show of hands, how many are, are repeat offenders? All right. You get a special love from me. Uh, thanks for coming back. And if you brought friends, uh, that you got a double thank you. I'm going to tell you all about the team here at the Old Church Acoustic Series. I'm going to tell you about the sponsors. I'm going to tell you about Stephanie Clark Harris, and I'm going to tell you about the Midnight Anthem. But I'm going to do all of that later, because right now I'm going to tell you about this guy. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, the gentleman standing next to me is one of the most talented humans that I know. I've been jealous of him for years, actually, because of it. Um, he's good at everything he touches. Um, he'll roast a carrot that will drive you to tears. I am thankful to have him in my band, and I'm grateful to call him a friend. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Shandy Lawson. <laughs> guitar that I play She says what I can't say I strum my aches away and then I'm empty Got this notebook where I write These songs I dream at night Fairy tales and rhyme or love letters into flames upon walking into this beautiful venue. I know some of you lost money on that, I'm sorry. I will admit to a brief flush of warmth and a tiny puff of smoke, and that was it. And here I am. So my usual venue is like Cafe Nine, that kind of place, and having not been able to even be there and everyone mind play has been hard, so I wrote a song about it. Street King got his book of poems. No one at home and no place better to be. Out gigging on a Monday night, and if he plays it right, he drinks for free. He's all dialed in to get that sound. Oh, it's ragged edges all around. They're drinking up and dressing down. Kings and queens of crown Crown Street Queen is a work of art No one can play the part so beautifully Some will make your heart unwind Some just take their time and watch it bleed
strings and wash my favorite shirt. Just me and my old guitar in a Crown Street bar, I could be doing worse. Been doing it since I hit the ground. Hell bent, hell bound. So no wonder y'all still come around. Uh, you kings and queens of crown. Gotta thank y'all for coming around. You kings and queens of crown. Thank you. Those two are too new to be on a record, but they will be. Uh, this, is, this one is from a record I just released called Solid State. And it's a song I wrote about a little girl. It's called Sunflower. Little girl, you know this world ain't big enough for you. There ain't a corner you can't rule if you've a mind to. Don't let your feet outrun that golden boundless heart of yours and you'll do fine. Sunflower of mine. I wish I could hold your hand for every step you take, but I doubt these old bones could keep the pain. Just do what your mama says and listen to your heart, you'll be all right. songs are they run pretty brief if I can get like 30 minutes out of a, a 13 song CD I'm pretty lucky um, and that's what makes this song so interesting this is on a this is on a record of mine that turns 20 years old this summer it's about a painter or a grave digger turned painter Just a painter Before this I dug holes I dug them for St. Mary's To bury vacant souls I traded in my shovel When I turned 68 For some brushes and an easel And a pocket full of paints Now I trace the lines of motion And I color empty air substance to the detail that isn't really there and I'll paint my sky any way I like I'll paint my sky as I like I see beyond the visible through the prism of my eye in 
into the heart of darkness that we all try and hide. See, the hateful heart beats louder than the one employed for love, but I see them both as clearly as I see God above.
So a couple of weeks ago, we had a birthday party for St. James. Velvet, I should specify, we're in the house of worship. It's St. James Velvet. We had a birthday party for him at Cafe Nine and live streamed it, and it was a, it was a great time. All kinds of friends and family there. Mm -hmm. But the song that I wanted to play, I didn't get to play because his old back and band had dibs. So I'm playing it tonight. It's my, it's my favorite James Velvet song. It's called I'm Still Here. Live my whole life right here where we are. This is my town. I almost moved away some years ago. I was shuffling around. And I moved to the city, put some new roots down. I said goodbye to this town. I came back for a visit and I never got away. I thought I'd left, but I stayed. stuff lately. A lot of love songs and songs about playing in bars and with friends and stuff. But I didn't always. And this song is one of them. Um, this was on an, uh, a record of mine that came out way back in the 1900s. <laughs> now, if you remember that century, it's notable for many things. Among them, not just my record, but also Walking on the Moon, Sliced Bread, Frozen food bringing produce to all of America. And this song, it's about, uh, you know, as we head into returning to normal, whatever shape that takes, uh, this is a song about a kid who went to war and he couldn't handle the normal when he got back. Danny got his papers. They sent him home at 69. He had a shattered knee and a 
broken, tangled mind. Daddy took me with him. The day old Dan came home, we hugged him tight, but he never even smiled. And there was something in the way he walked, creeping around the house, like he'd been carrying a country on. Filled with crying, it echoed off the walls as he dreamed of killer armies dressed in black. And then the day came, the bandages came off, and the great almighty morphine drip ran dry. He spent the whole next week tearing at the sheet. Cursing at the devils in his mind And I come home from school one day Six squad cars on my lawn The local TV broadcast crew stood by Danny had dug in deep In the shelter of his room With a month's worth of food and a full Till morning, then sent the infantry in with blazing guns and numbers on their side. And Danny died like a man, ace of spades in his hand, in the jungle heat where hell and earth divide. time for one more and uh, so every Monday night whether rain sleet snow dark of night all that Muddy and Frank and I meet at Frank's kitchen table to write songs and rehearse and behave ourselves and sometimes it's a, it's a slow night and I might pick up the guitar and play something and one night I played this song and when I was done Muddy and Frank, their mouths were hanging open. They're staring at me, and Frank says, Buddy, I'm going to quit my job and follow you around the country. <laughs> and it broke my heart to tell them I didn't write that song. That wasn't, that wasn't mine. I just played it. Uh, but it was written by Guy Clark, and I'm going to play it now. And it's one of my all-time favorites. It's, uh, I connect on a multitude of, of, of levels. It's called uh, Double Blues. <laughs> Me. 
from the get go And I love you till I die I loved you on the Spanish steps The day you said goodbye That's Shandy Lawson right there. Uh, Shandy put out, uh, Shandy's put out two records in the last year or so. Is that correct? Yeah, he's got a lot. Um, and they're all out there. As a matter of fact, uh, just about everybody that will perform here tonight has CDs right out there on the table. And you know what happens when you buy a CD from a local performer? You, not only do you go to heaven, they make more music. And that's a really good thing. That's Shandy Lawson, folks. Uh, the Midnight Anthem is up next, and we're going to take a seven-minute break, but you're going to listen to me tell you about the sponsors really fast. You ready? Yes. There's a couple of ones I really want you to pay attention to, and that's Prentice Printing. They've been in Meriden for 50 years, and they're really nice to us, and Bruce is a great guy. Uh, Hollywood East Productions is also a Meriden company, and Marcus is really good to us as well. He's our video guy. He's right up there. Um, you know, you don't have to go to the big cities to go to a cool art gallery because you got one right across the street, and that's Gallery 53, and I love it over there, and you should go. Uh, CygnusRadio.com is a cool local radio station, and that's right here in Connecticut. Um, and also, my name is Frank Rotelli, and I co-host the local band show on WPLR on Sunday nights. And if you like Shandy Lawson or Stephanie Clark Harris or the Midnight Anthem or Connecticut music in general, you should really uh, tune in because I think that you'll like us very much. If you ever plan on taking a limousine, get it from Hunters. They're nice people and have ambulances too. So if you're ever planning on an ambulance, um, you can go to them as well. Uh, Telefunken has given us enough microphones to be socially distant and we appreciate them. We also appreciate the Meriden Chamber of Commerce. And uh, most, this is the first church of Meriden and Pastor Bruce lets us come here and drape ourselves all over his upholstery and create uh, great sounds. So thanks to him as well. Uh, but none of this would mean anything without you, so thank you very, very much for coming to the Old Church Acoustic Series. You already know that you can go to old, with an E, churchacoustic.com for all of the information, watch all of our past videos, etc., etc. Next, I'm going to tell you about uh, the, our next show in May and June and stuff like that, but you're going to take about a six or seven minute break first. Is that all right? All right. Stretch your legs, move about the cabin, say hi to everybody. Stay distant, though, and we'll see you in seven minutes with the Midnight Anthem. Thanks, folks. And I mentioned uh, the First Church of Meriden. You know, they have a May breakfast. It's the 116th annual 
Now I'm pretty sure that that means it's been going on for 116 <laughs> years. That's a wicked long time. Uh, May 1st, and this looks delicious right here. If you can't see that picture, uh, you'll, you'll see it later because there's a bunch of these flyers right out there. And you can go to breakfast right here at the church on May 1st. Um, it's served to go, which is nice, in containers. You can pick it up right here. Eight bucks, that's not so bad. Um, and all the money goes to the church, and that's very nice. Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Good? Thank you very, very much again for being at the Old Church Acoustic Series. Um, May 7th is our next show, and we have Inner Groove with our own Denise Jones. I'm going to tell you about her later. Uh, Pigeon English and Shannon McMahon. Uh, so that's May 7th right here at the Old Church. And thank you, sir. Um, also, uh, you know what? I'm never going to tell you that just yet. To tease. I'll tell you before <laughs> Stephanie said. Oh, you like that, huh? <laughs> How are we doing here at the Old Church? Okay, good. Um, this band is new to me. I have never seen them live, although I have seen their videos online because I'm pretty sure either Terry Lachance or Denise has taken them outside the downtown coffee shop. They play right here in Merida in a bunch. Um, Sophia and Grace were a duo, and now they have a trio, and I'm really excited because I heard the sound check, and they were absolutely fantastic and angelic voices. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Midnight Anthem. <laughs> Thank you guys. All right, can, can I get you guys to clap along with me real quick? Let's just get this started, ready? Introductions. I'm Grace. I'm Sophia. And I'm Catherine. 
And that down there on the end is my father and their uncle, uh, Dominic. He's an incredible drummer. We're very lucky to have him with us. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> All right, the next tune we are going to do for you is one we wrote, or one that Catherine wrote. It's called In Too Deep, and it's one of our favorites. My chaser is red as a rose. Your eyes are as blue as the ocean. I'm losing my mind, losing my mind. You're gorgeous. I can't help myself. I thought, but you know me so well. I'm breaking piece by piece. We do fix me. We got me. Sam, perfect, but you're crazy, boy. Constellations, and it's definitely one of our favorites, although we'll probably say that about all of them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, enjoy. Keep me warm and I, I 
to Venus and back mm -hmm. We look for somewhere In the middle of nowhere The only light is from the fireflies And the moon is like a spark So we lay down on our backs In the cool, cool grass Heaven in this conversation But it's counting constellations So this next song is a song that Grace and I wrote um, around a year ago, a little over a year ago, and we hadn't written together in a while actually, and then we sat down and I remembered this idea that Grace had had for this song, um, and I was like, did you ever write that? And she said, no, and I was like, well, we should write it, and we sat down and it came out in like if even 30 minutes and we were playing through it all the way and we finally got Sophia to add her beautiful harmonies onto it and we love it. So this is I Don't Drink on Sundays. His hands on his 
this dark idea. I have these dark lines and I don't know how to finish this song. And she's like, oh, well, what about this melody? I have this melody. And we came together and in a very short time finished this song. Um, it's called The Confessional and it's definitely one of our favorites. I know we say that after every song. I apologize. <laughs> Still 
we just have a couple more songs for you guys. So we're going to throw a cover in here since we're in this beautiful church. Um, we're going to do a cover of uh, My Church by Marin Morris. And it's actually way back when we all picked up guitars right around the same time. Um, it's the first song that we learned to play and sing and harmonize the three of us together. And we've been kind of messing around with it for years, but that was the first one where we like sat down all organized and stuff and played it through. <laughs> so yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, we, um, we started a Facebook thing called the Tailgate Sessions where we sat in the bed of my truck with guitars. And that was the first and only one. But. <laughs> third song we wrote together and I was at work one day and she was snapchatting me and I sent her a message that said write me a song and she said what and I got busy and never responded so later that night she texts me and goes I need you to FaceTime me and I was like okay and I FaceTime her and she sings me this like super catchy chorus with these na na na's and oohs and and I was like whoa like that's really cool so it became one of you guessed it, our favorite songs to play. And 
and um, there are a few of you out there I know know it, and I'd love for you to sing along. Thank you. Folks, give it up again for the Midnight Anthem. Thank you so very, very much for being here. I'm going to point out, just before your seven-minute break, uh, before Stephanie Clark Harris comes out, I'm going to point out to you uh, the team that puts together the old church. Because uh, it's not just me. I'm, I'm just the face up here uh, introducing the action stuff. But uh, Steve and Bruce do our website and our printing, and they're wicked important. And you can, um, you can have a raffle for signed posters. 
Uh, so you can do that too. Um, Pat does the sound, and he's wicked important too. He's the guy making everybody sound good up here. Denise is our den mother, and we love her. Kathy Matula from Meriden Parks and Rec is really, really important as well. Uh, Marcus is our videographer, and Connor is our photographer. In addition to Sam Carr, uh, who graces our presence, he graces us with his presence here as well. And the grand poobah of the whole thing is David Cooley. So thanks for everybody. And all of this team works under the spiritual guidance of St. Mike Wilcox and Kate Wilcox as well. Thank you very much for being here at the Old Church Acoustic Series. Uh, we're going to take about a seven minute break and we'll be right back with Stephanie Clark Harris. This is the Midnight Anthem, folks. Hi, everybody. How are you? Are you having a nice time still? All right, good. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, you already know, you're the nice people, you already know that you're at the Old Church Acoustic Series. Could you do us all a favor? Uh, would you let, like, in the next week or so, let like a half a dozen friends know that they can go to Old Church Acoustic, that's old with an E, and they can watch the video of this and lament that they weren't here with you um, enjoying the live sounds of the Midnight Anthem. Woo! And Shandy Lawson. Uh, but thank you very, very much because none of this happens without you. I'm going to tell you about signed posters and raffles and stuff like that. I'm going to tell you about how you can tip the performers and give them a raise in just a little while. Uh, this woman right here is an absolute stunning powerhouse. Uh, she's one of the best songwriters that I know personally. Um, and if you're lucky uh, and you like what you hear today, uh, you can see her. Don't tell anybody, though. This is a secret. I'm not even fooling. Um, Stephanie Clark Harris will be opening for Christine Ullman. Oh, we're oh, wonderful, right? That's what I said. Wonderful. Um, she's the beehive queen. We're not even supposed to announce that show. It's June 10th. It's at Hubbard Park. It's the Old Church Acoustic Series. Uh, it's a summer spinoff. But don't tell anybody until May 2nd. Contractually, this is all really wrong. Okay, but uh, that's for you just for being here, and we appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, it makes my heart go pitter-pat to give you Stephanie Clark Harris. Thank you so much. Thanks, Frank. So Frank gave me a call yesterday, and he said, you know, you want to play a show? And I said, yeah, I've been in sort of like a hibernation, like in my own world, and, you know, I got ripped out of that, and I'm really, really thankful, and I feel really blessed to be here tonight with all of you. The energy in this room is wonderful. Shandy and... Um, oh my god, the, mount, the mountain anthem? Midnight, Midnight anthem. Oh, I, I just had chills. I wanted to get up and shout and dance. And if you could see, I'm sure all the smiles in here were so bright under those masks. And um, yeah, I thought, I thought I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of breathing lately. And I, I'm wondering if maybe you guys want to take a few deep breaths with me. I think it's really important. I always need reminders to breathe and connect with ourselves. All right, I did this with my preschoolers this morning. <laughs> you can do a volcano breath if you want, but let's just breathe in, ready? One. It's wonderful to be in here in our humanity, and um, I wanted to play. Uh, I've been doing these little, uh, kind of like self love songs that I sing to myself. I sort of flow, and whatever kind of comes out. And this one came out late, the other week, and uh, we've all been feeling so many emotions and feelings. Um, I mean, life in general, but this year. And I've just been looking at them as just visitors. They come, they go, we release them. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to share that with you guys tonight. Is this on? Oh. Okay, I didn't know if that was. There we go. <clears throat> Visitors, they come and go, and 
share some stories with you tonight. Um, I've been writing a lot of songs this past year, and uh, you'll get to know a little bit about kind of what has been going on with me. Um, it feels so good just to be here right now. This song um, is called Nobody Knows. This was actually the first song I ever released, and I released it last year through... Um, a compilation that my friend Alex Burnett made um, with a lot of New Haven local artists. And they're all sort of songs that we recorded on our own in our homes or in a friend's studio. And this song is called Nobody Knows. I also call it my howling song. <clears throat> There's a big black cloud setting People are shaking, the earth is breaking all around. And all the men are yelling and nobody's heard. It's been hundreds of years you think we could have learned. ago, I was on a road trip around the country, and um, I wrote this in the Badlands, and we got lost at one point, 
And I remember um, we were just following the moon. And it was this big red moon. And uh, yeah, just hit me. So I just thought I'd share this one. This one, I, I call it a little, I wrote a series of songs called Little Ditties. Here we go. And I was a drift. just like this. I think that's the last time I've sang and it feels really good. Feeling very connected to my inner child. I'd be wailing. I would take these microphones and go running. This next song um, is another song I wrote this past year. Um, it's about just... Maybe I'll try my pick this time. Maybe you can hear it a little better. Um, the song is about just being stuck and you finally have to deal with your shit. <laughs> so here we go. <clears throat> Yeah, it helps to know you feel it too. 
It's like I'm always moving and staying still Another day, more time to kill Now toss and turn, I never sleep Probably had too much to drink But tomorrow is Figure it out my own way. Gonna figure it out my own way. And a part of me wants to run because dealing with shit is never fun. And I know what I'm supposed to do. It helps to know. because I really have a hard time holding my pick now because I'm so excited. <laughs> like my hands are like, like I just feel so excited I, I just feel like I'm gonna drop my pick. So hopefully you can hear the guitar right. Bear with me. All right. um, this next song's off the EP that I have for sale out there in the hall. And uh, this song I wrote about my grandmother and my great-grandmother and sort of their story. And um, my grandmother's, uh, you know, she's a praying woman. She prays all the time. And she prays for me, and I can't get off the phone with her without her giving me a prayer. And if I ever mention uh, that I have anything wrong with my body, she has to lay hands on me and pray for me right there and then. And, uh, you know, she has a hard time getting around. And I think when she prays, I think it gives her wings and uh, makes her feel free. So this song's for her. It's called Saying Grace.
This one came out last week or two weeks ago. I refuse to play you a song out of tune. My commitment to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> huh? Tune because I care about you and about me. Um, yeah, so this last year, a lot of us growing, working through our stuff. You know, we got friends, and we got family, and we got partners, and uh, you're growing, and you're like really getting there. And you're like, wait a minute, are you coming with me? Like, are you growing too? <laughs> and I've just found myself and a lot of friends, you know, we've all been kind of thinking about that same feeling. You know, you start to grow, and you're like, the people you love. You want that too. Anywho, this is about that. It doesn't have a name yet. <clears throat> there was a time when you were my friend. I let you in. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
called Spirit Moves, and um, this song came to me in about an hour, right, right around election time, and uh, there's just, my heart's been heavy this year for so many reasons, and not just because of this string right here. <laughs> um, yeah, so this the song came out, and I felt like it just felt like a spirit song. Like I didn't even like it. It came out, and I was like, "Whoa, what is this about?" Like I had to really do some dive. And I don't know if the songwriters in here, you guys, understand that. Like when those songs come, you're like, "Hmm, I wonder what I'm getting at here." But I knew exactly what this song was about, <laughs> and uh, I recorded at Dirt Floor Studios with Eric Lichter. And um, it's out on Spotify, but uh, I actually just added a new verse the other week. So I'm going to play the new verse for you tonight. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, you come in with me, let's move. Here we go. Am I brave enough to do my... It's too, it feels too loud in this room, this guitar. All right. And you got to stay.
Let the spirit move you. Be kind, fill yourself with love. Folks, that's Stephanie Clark Harris. Um, I, hope, I hope you realize, I know, we're getting to it. I can't wait for the raffle, as a matter of fact. Um, that's a tip bucket right over there. I know, you know, the price went down. If you feel like uh, tipping the performers, you, you're more than welcome to do that. If it was me, I'd probably buy a CD. But if you're not going home with a CD and you want to dump a couple in there uh, so they can get some Chinese food on the way home and gas up their car, that would be wonderful. Uh, thank you very, very much. We'll give it up again for Stephanie Clark Harris. Can you handle one more song? Is that okay? Still, I'm still too excited. <laughs> but I do kind of want to look at you, Frank, because it helps me sing better. Okay. Little kitty corner. This little kitty corner with Frank. This is his next show, Kitty Corner with Frank. Okay. <clears throat> she don't like her eggs all runny. She thinks crossing her legs is funny. She looks down and knows that money. Gets it on like the Easter bunny. She's my baby, I'm her honey. I'm never gonna let her go. Well, he's got more balls than a big brass monkey. A whacked out weirdo and a love bug junkie. Sly as a fox, crazy as a loon. Payback comes, a he's a howling at the moon. He's my In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Against all odds, honey, we're the big door prize. And we're going to spite our noses right off of our faces. There won't be nothing but big old hearts dancing in our eyes. She thinks all of my jokes are corny. Convict movies make her horny. She likes ketchup on scrambled eggs. She swears like a sailor when she shaves her legs. She takes a lick, keeps on ticking. I'm never gonna let her go. Well, he ain't got laid in a month of Sundays. Caught him once and he was sniffing my undies. Ain't too sharp, but he gets things done. Drinks his beer like it's oxygen. He's my We'll end up sitting on a rainbow Against all odds, honey, we're the big door prize And we're gonna spy them. our noses right off of our faces There won't be nothing but big old hearts dancing in our eyes Folks, that's Stephanie Clark Harris uh, Please welcome back uh, the Midnight Anthem Say hi again to Mr. Shandy Lawson. If you know this one, join in for the last chorus, and if you don't, just clap your hands, it's okay. In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Against all odds, honey, we're the big door prize. And we're gonna start our noses right off of our faces. There won't be nothing but big old hearts dancing in our lives. In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Against all odds, honey, we're the big door prize. And we're gonna stack our noses right off of our faces. There won't be nothing but big old hearts dancing in our lives. There won't be nothing but big old hearts dancing in our eyes in spite of ourselves. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Last thing's last. You ready? You ready for the raffle, Miss Kathy? Let's do it. Here comes Miss Kathy.
All right, these are almost one of, these are three of a kind, right here, sort of. And thank you very much. Beautiful gluing job. <laughs> Carl Seely. <laughs> Carl Seely. Carl. Woo! Dun, dun, dun. That says, oh, wait, that says something different. You ready? Earl. Earl, are you still here? <laughs> or does that say Carl, too? Carl, do you find Earl? That Earl. says Earl, right? That's the handwriting. Earl, I know my handwriting. Screw <laughs> Earl. Like the Earl. Right? Must be here to win. Nancy and Mike. Yeah. Hi, Nancy, Nancy and Mike. Here we go. Earl bought a lot of tickets. Right <laughs> <laughs> here. And Kathy Goliath. All right. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to the Old Church Acoustic Series. God bless you. Real good. Stay out of trouble. Fight the power. Be kind to one another. Support your local bands. Thanks, everybody.